Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be guiding you through the process of installing Ubuntu Server 2204 in VirtualBox. So, let's get started. The first step is to obtain the Ubuntu Server ISO file from the official Ubuntu website. Head over to their site and download the ISO file. Once you have the ISO file ready, let's move on to VirtualBox. Open up VirtualBox on your system. Now, let's create a new virtual machine for our Ubuntu server installation. Now specify the directory or folder where you want Ubuntu to be installed. I have created a new folder named Ubuntu Server 22 inches on in my system. When prompted, navigate to this folder and select it as the installation path for Ubuntu Server. Fill in the required details such as the name for your virtual machine. Now, it's time to select the ISO file for the Ubuntu server installation. Navigate to your downloads folder where the ISO file is located. Once you've found it, select the ISO file and proceed with the installation. Remember to consider the requirements of the applications you plan to run on the server. With all the necessary settings in place, you are ready to proceed with the installation process. Next, allocate the desired amount of memory, RAM, for your virtual machine. Then, it's time to create a virtual hard disk. Select Create a Virtual Hard Disk now and choose the recommended options unless you have specific requirements. This will create a new virtual hard disk for our Ubuntu server. Click on the Finish button. The Ubuntu Virtual Machine will now start, and the installation process will begin automatically. Follow the on-screen prompts to install Ubuntu Server. You'll be asked to select the language, configure network settings, and set up user accounts. Make sure to provide the required information based on your preferences and needs. During the network setup, we will be using DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, which automatically assigns an IP address to our virtual machine. After you've completed the installation process, you can utilize PuTTY to establish a connection with your Ubuntu server. Here's how to proceed. To connect via PuTTY, you need to know the IP address of your Ubuntu server. If you're unsure about the IP address, you can find it by logging into the Ubuntu server or checking your router's configuration. Once you have the IP address, open PuTTY on your local machine. A new terminal window will open, and you'll be prompted for credentials. Enter the username and password of your Ubuntu server. That's it. You're now connected to your Ubuntu server using PuTTY.